<laughs> Everyone I am here taking a look at 900. 900 is a minimalist score attack game from Barnett Games. It's available on Dichio, also on Steam Greenlight. The links will be below per usual. This is a game which normally when I do an impressions video, I play the game for a few hours at least. That's how long it takes me to get my initial impressions of is the game doing what it's trying to do successfully and what are a couple criticisms, criticisms I have and how it's going. 900 was difficult to do that with, however, because it's the game design is so minimalist. It is a mobile game primarily. It's on Android, iOS, and also, of course, PC and Mac. But the design, you'll very quickly see, is intended to be mobile. It's a very minimalistic design. We just sweep our laser to absorb points, to absorb the other objects and grow. The main part of this experience, though, is the audio-visual component. It has a really... Uh, good soundtrack. It has the visuals, have this whole French surreal 70s postmodern beat aesthetic to it. And I, I find it really intriguing visually. It reminds me of like these old cartoons I used to watch when they get this all deranged animation thing going on. The whole game is like that. It's, it is visually very uh, striking. It's a visual experience and the sound uh, plays that very well. It's a very it's an odd soundtrack. It's good. Works with the whole thing very well. I don't know enough about music to give a proper uh, description of the genre, but you'll hear it. I mean, we'll go, go in and hear it. Normally with these games, you know, I give a overview of my impressions and then we... Some criticisms. 900 is so simple, though. I don't think that's even necessary for me to do because it's from gameplay design. It's extremely simple. It's intentionally it's a very simple game for mobile. So the primary experience is the auto-visual component. So we're just going to jump in, play for a few minutes, give you an idea of the drug trip that we're on, it's a moral day weekend, I've had a few drinks, so I think I'm in the perfect mind state for this type of game. We are this we are the little ball in the center and we absorb these crumpled up pieces of paper. And then that is us. It does get quite it does get actually get a little challenging. It's not an easy game. You do have to absorb a lot of these things and get them before they like that crush your sphere. We're going for a new high score here. When I was playing it earlier, I swear it was a little sore paced. I don't know if I'm just... I don't know if I'm just freaking out because of the visuals. I think they might have made it a little bit more challenging. Since I initially played. Maybe I'm just having trouble defining the rules. I don't know. There's so much going on. Alright, we're fine. Ooh, get away. It's like we just need to absorb the nearest objects before they crush us. Or not even crush, touch us. And swipe them, swipe them. See, swipe them game. We gotta swipe as much as we can. This is a survive to the next. Oh, nah, I'm gonna just go to shoot at that one. 419 is no high score for us, though. It's a new thief, the adventure. I swear I used to watch. I swear in my elementary school, we had some sort of show about using live proper library usage that was a lot like this. It had some really weird animated parts to it. It was like the sci-fi set- Oh, I'm gonna get yeah, I'm gonna crush there. Let's go. It was like the sci-fi setting, and it was the, like a post-apocalyptic setting, and the, you know, all the world's knowledge most of the world's knowledge is lost, and this, the kids are in this library, so they have to figure out how to look up stuff to, you know, restore humanity's knowledge or whatever. And it had some weird, some weird parts in it. And also, it might not even be that show, it might be another show, the cartoons are watching when I was a young child. I remember this whole French surrealism, the postmodern, whatever it is, style in animations, you know, submarine style, being very popular at that time. Or at least popularly shown to children for whatever reason, you know, adults like to mess with kids, I guess. And <laughs> showing them this weird stuff was a fun way for them to do that. So this gameplay is very simple, it's primarily a mobile game, like I said. But it has... Ooh, and it's not an easy game, just because it's weird, I mean, it's an easy game. But it's mostly a audio-visual experience. Let's play for a few more minutes and I'll shut up and we'll just hang out. Well, I won't necessarily shut up, I'm gonna stop talking about the game. Like I said, game design-wise, minimalist minimalism in game design right here. You have a very, very, very simple objective and control. It's 
presented to you immediately, you pick it up immediately, and then you are just you just have to master that one very simple skill. And a lot of the value game is just how that is presented to you. Oh, come on. too slow. So it's a little bit of case design in uh, case study in game design at least. Minimalism in game design. So I guess that clock is how long we have until we... Okay, so, so, so we can figure out this one rule real quick. The one non-minimalistic rule. Shoot all this stuff. Alright, let's try to get that, get our clock, alright, select clock. So that must be how long we have until the... Nope, oh, okay, never mind. Completely off. Trying to survive until our clock counts down and see what the effect is. That's the only non the only variation from minimalism I can see. That clock is obviously extreme. Get away from Should be clicking maybe a little bit faster and swiping even faster. Just be faster. Do I get out of here, junk? <laughs> Just stay away from me. Alright, much better. Much better than that. Wait. Like we're actually trying. Oh, come on! I didn't swipe, so I can't get mad, but <laughs> I should have. Part of my brain is telling me to. Very much, the, very much a what you see is what you get situation. But this game, why? Oh, oh, they get so small. And then many of the objects are immediately destroyed, and it's, the larger ones are not. So I just swipe them. And then focus down the tougher ones, the water level pieces of paper. There we go. Let's see if we can't get the five. Our, I think 450 is about our high score so far. So we get. Oh, come. God! <laughs> so we get to 500. I'll be satisfied with our points. Yo, this game isn't as relaxed as I was hoping for. This is not the right. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Any plays in the morning when I am like 100% focused, this game. Ooh. I swear it's a little easier when I was playing it a few days ago. I swear. <laughs> okay, we barely survived. No, come on! There's we're so big, and they're coming from all directions. Oh, okay. We can get it. We can get 450. And also, we can see what happens when our clock hits zero. If anything, or that's just some surreal nonsense trying to fuse our whole brains. Looks like we should so just clean up the detritus. Oh, nothing happens. It's just weird. Okay, I got it. I got it. 458. It's all... There's a lot going on, though. Please clean up. Seems like our objective is to clean up the wadded pieces of paper. And just survive against the other ditches, which is easily swiped away. It might actually be easier on touch screen. There's not something here a lot. This game might actually be easier on touch screen. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't die. It just wouldn't go down. Too tough. Whenever we get close to 450, it seems like we come off the top and the size of the screen. And give us some problems. So, so if we get enough of the 
Can we get enough of the papers? We explode, clear screen, and continue. That's what I'm picking up here. Whenever we blow up on these papers, we, yeah, there we go. Grows that little inner circle grows, and once it reaches the same size as our outer circle, we pop and progress. That's what I'm seeing. As a guy that plays video games. Ooh. A little more stressful than I would like. There we go, we did it. Is that next level? Are we close to 500? Oh, hello! Weird boss fight thing. This is super trippy. <laughs> that's what, I mean, that's what we kind of got around to. Being trippy. So they can only be fired at. Okay, so they can only be shot at from one side. We're getting into more. Hey, we got 500. So we started getting to more uh, implications game design wise. Though well, obviously there we have things we can only shoot at sometimes. Because I did not play this. Oh, what the f was that? <laughs> you can't just throw that at me out of right field. I didn't pre-play this game as much as I do a lot of other titles, just because the simplicity of the game and the audiovisual focus. I don't want to kind of uh, ruin the experience for the first impression. My first impression is going to be my reaction to the visuals and the audio, which is, it's just, it is a trip. Which I really like this was a, uh, when I, you can imagine my surprise when I first booted this up. And this is what it was. I was looking at something a lot more traditional, so it's nice to see something out, out, outside the glass. We almost had it. Okay, I was gonna say, how am I supposed to stop that from happening? That's a freak. What? Look how. Can I zoom in? Can I get a zoom on that? That was a microscopic enemy, and, he, and that's what killed us. Ooh, unforgiving. I'm playing like a full size 1080p monitor. Can't imagine being mobile and then having that happen. How are you supposed to see that? Think about. I'm not sure if we can pass the level. This game, this game got hard. It was already a little harder than I uh, when I first played. Than when I first played it. Now it's like kind, of, kind of tricky. Which is good. I mean, we like challenge our games, right? I think it's always appropriate for a game to expect a player to improve and to have some skill while they play. I think that's always fair. Hey, did we advance? I think we advance. It, it just got worse. It just got a million times worse. Okay. And then we're out of the spheres into the multiverse of cylinders. Alright. Okay. <laughs> I have to kill that guy, but there's, there's so much going on. And he got me. Okay, we'll just come out of the spheres into the sphere multiverse. Fear cinematic multiverse. Okay. I don't touch by anything. Touch that. This loser in the corner. Ah! When they come top and bottom like that, it's a widescreen resolution. That's pretty tricky. Oh, we're, yeah, we're super dead. Let's try it again. See if we can get one more level in here. We should be at a good time. Already got past my 500 goal. Actually made him a giant. Which 
good cause of some problems. Get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. Get away from me. We good? We live? We're too big, we're too big, we're too big. Too much matter to absorb. Playthroughs on the channel this year. Because there's not much to say, there's a lot to see. I don't think I can give this game proper credit just to do my work. I got. What? 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 <laughs> what is that? What have I become? That was good, right? I got big party lasers. Oh, that's a good thing, right? These are so small. Did I advance? Are we are we further along now? Okay, I think I think we're doing well. I'm not I'm not sure. Nothing in this world makes sense anymore. And this. Yeah, I did not want to be too prepared for this one. For these impressions. Because these are my impressions. Oh, get out, get out! Oh, you're so, they're so tiny! Get out of my face with these tiny, tiny, tiny bricks. We're gonna keep zooming out and we're gonna see we're actually like part of a man's an atom and a man's thumbnail. Keep expanding from there. It's like the everything. Oh, it's gonna get weird again. You know, it's already, it never stopped being weird. Oh, we're in like, I don't, some sort of box, some sort of self-repeating room. This is, uh, Matthew McConaughey. He's in the black hole. He just has to reach for Oh no, we're super dead. Yeah, it didn't stop him in time. Alright, to be honest, I've got a little more interest in this than I expected. Well, actually, no, that's a, that's a lie. Because I did find the visuals very, the music very intriguing. And I wanted to save my versions of those while we're playing live, and then you know what? I just kept being a trick. Oh, you monster. And it just stayed intriguing, which is exactly what I would have wanted to see. Oh, come on, give me, just give me one more, give me one more second. But oh, we're like super crazy. Don't oh, we actually survive that. Get away, get away, get away, from me. get away, get away. From me. Come on, clear out all losers. All detritus. Wait for me, get away from me. Oh, we're set. We're still good, we're still good. Now things, everything's getting tiny again. Big problem. Oh, we have uh, expanded into the exosphere. No, we got the 900 gold. We beat the game. Oh, we did it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm actually like, I'm actually excited about that. Alright, well that was 900. That's a fantastic feeling. Oh, no, we just reached 900. We we're gonna keep going. Alright, alright. So I guess, as expected, there's no real end to the game. It just gives you that when you reach nine, the titular 900. That makes sense. I get that. Oh, oh god, that's fast. We didn't really beat it. There's that doesn't end at 900. It's just saying, hey, 900, good job. Here's some more for you to do. Yeah, that's 900 by Barnat Games. Like I said, eventually available on Itch.io, available on Green, Steam Greenlight. Well, not available on Steam Greenlight. It's on Steam Greenlight. Give the links down below. Wow, that was an adventure. This is a trippy, trippy fun time. If you, if you're on the bus and you want to just have some, 
some surreal stimulation <laughs> for a score attack game. I like it. I like the minimalism in game design. I love the music. I love the visuals. And that's, I mean, that's what we got for 900. I can't, I can't expound too much about the game. It is very simple. There's only so many words that we can say about it. But simple gameplay, uh, enticing visuals and sound for a primarily mobile game that you can't play on PC. But it's clearly, you know, you can imagine swiping your finger instead of the mouse and doing all that score attack stuff. You can imagine do that on your phone pretty easily. And so yeah, check it out if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, enjoy the video, subscribe for more fun Twitch tags, and I'll see you next time.